Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to the full drop list for this week being week 7 of the fall winter season. Now obviously as per norm, subject to change, it can change at any point in time basically and items can be removed or added to it. So without further ado, we're just going to get into it as it is for the time being and yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, so obviously I went over the North Face uh, collaboration yesterday. I went through all of the pieces, gave my opinions, and now we're down to sort of the starter placements, I guess you could say, for where the pieces are going to be uh, landing for this week. Uh, so obviously on the top row, we've got the pullover or the fleece pullover and the 700 fill down Parker. These are the two pieces that in the end I saw across Discords people basically landing on as their top like pieces in the end. Obviously with the fleece pullover being the top one, uh, evidently. Uh, specifically, it is in the black and the brown colorway. The people who initially posted pictures of the white colorway have now like done a 180 and they're now posting either the brown or the black colorway as their top uh, colorway in the end. How many times can I say that? Uh, so yeah, personally for me it is just going to be, like I said, the black colorway. It just looks aesthetically better and yeah, with the design on it as well I think it's cool but a lot of people are going to be going for the brown as well just because it is a like a single block uh, piece. So. Yeah, there's that. Uh, we also have the Money Box logo of New Era dropping uh, this week. To be honest, I liked all of the colorways from this. I thought they were all clean and decent. Uh, obviously, green always tries to catch me out, uh, <laughs> but I'm not going to fall for it uh, because I'm not really like a New Era person. I prefer like the curve to them. So yeah, that's just me. Obviously, the fill down Parker, you know, with like the Montclair look for it and everything. Uh, people were just a fan of it. It, it it didn't really hit too well with me, uh, so we can just move on from that, to be honest, onto the woven keychain. I mean, it, it's simple at the end of the day, and yeah, there isn't really much else to say for it, to be honest. The last North Face keychain I had was like the squishy one, uh, that was like the float, or floater, or whatever it was, uh, keychain. So, they don't really do them all that often. Um, <laughs> evidently this is probably why it will be the same sort of retail I'd expect of like the 12 to like 18 pounds or something like that so yeah if you want to just grab something from the week for the point or for the sake of just grabbing something that's the item for you we then have the Apogee uh, jacket and the steep tech gloves yeah a uh, pair of steep tech gloves that I have that aren't supreme they're just standard aren't this thick in any way shape or form they're a lot thinner so I would expect these to just be extremely useful next to obviously the jacket which yeah it serves its purpose i still think that the black and the brown colorway is probably the two cleanest colorways for it but i am just a fan of the design and the graphic same sort of thing applies for the gloves you know it's just the same opinion in the end uh so yeah moving on we have obviously the waist bag and the denim camp cap bag i mean black colorway brown colorway probably the best two more vibrant one isn't really up there with them for that. As far as the camp cap is concerned, I do think that the standard like denim blue looks cool. I think that this, I don't know whether it's bleached or whatever it is they've done to it, maybe tie dye type of look. It looks cool, but I'd more so prefer either the gray or the denim blue overall. So yeah, that's just me. We then have the base layer long sleeve top. Uh, yeah, I pretty much just like all of the colorways in this. I think it just looks fine in any of them. More so, obviously, the black colorway, but yeah, that's just my personal preference. From there, we have the gradient crochet beanie uh, alongside the fleece pan and the backpack. In the beanie, I can't remember how often they do vertical and how often they do like a, a horizontal design, but this feels like the first time in a little bit that they've done a vertical uh, sort of line spread instead of it going like that, but maybe that's just me. Uh, for colorways, personally, I just think that the gray uh, tone is probably the best. I do like the green, but I just think the grey uh, because it will just Not really change too much as an overall. I mean there are lighter shades of grey obviously But the darker tones will sort of blend into each other. So yeah for the pan and the backpack uh, Black colorway and brown colorway in the pan I don't think that the white colorway or the multi colorway is all that strong just because of the outline being just way too thick As far as the backpack is concerned I think that any colorway is fine if you're going for it and yeah, obviously I'm going to be siding with the black colorway. It sort of gives me cause North Face uh, vibes for how the tones are and everything, how the design sits on the piece. But 
yeah, I didn't end up getting anything from that collaboration either. So we'll have to see how this one goes. Uh, following on from that, we do have a baggy jean and a denim baseball jersey this week. Uh, baggy jean, I, do, I, I don't need to explain it, do I? It's self-explanatory. Uh, it's a baggy jean. As far as the baseball jersey goes, that's a difficult one. I think that all of the colorways are good in their own sort of way. So obviously with the cream natural tone, you've got then the red and blue sort of popping out and standing out, which I think will probably look really decent. Denim is denim blue. It, you can't really do too much with it to like, you can't make it worse. Like you can't, it's it's good as it's like by itself as a standalone. You can't really downgrade it. So I think it will look clean anyway. And the black colorway of the white outline uh, on the font, I think just looks decent as well. Cream, like natural tone, is probably going to be my favourite as an overall, though. We've then got the Prem hoodie, where you meant to like say it internally, basically. Uh, a lot of good colourways, obviously, pine green stands out for me. I'm not too much of a fan of like the orange tone of the like font that's on it, but other than that, I think it's just a different piece for them to do, and it's quite cool. Uh, to cap off the week, we obviously have the base layer pant next to the small box speckle sweater and the steep tech pant. Pant, same sort of thing. I just think that these two colorways are the better ones. That comes last, but I still like the design. Uh, speckle sweater, I think is cool overall. More so I'd say in like the black or the like tan, sand-ish color. Uh, I think that those two are like the better tones as an overall. In the pan, I'm just gonna say black colorway. I think brown's okay, but I think black colorway. And for the last three items of the week, we have the capital beanie, the brushed flannel twill shirt, and the elephant short sleeve top. Uh, beanie, you can't really go wrong with it. It's basically, yeah, like there's nothing that you could do to go wrong with it. I think that any colorway is probably decent. Black colorway typically stands out because of obvious reasons. The teal is actually quite nice and the brown is nice too. The yellow with the black font, you know, just is a good contrast, so yeah. As far as the shirt and the short sleeve top are concerned, to be honest, I don't really think there's anything wrong with the twill shirt. I think the black colorway is probably the better tone. Elephant, I think that I liked in when we're looking at the lookbook, the like colorful or vibrant colorway more so than the black colorway, and I'm probably just going to stand by that. So yeah, but it is at the bottom for a reason. So anyway, that is going to cover the list for this week. Obviously, as per norm, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below what you're going to be going for, whether or not you signed up for an in-store slot. I don't know if they send texts yet or whether it's like more so mid to late afternoon. Also, my voice is completely gone for some reason today, so. Yeah, uh, for me personally, I genuinely don't know. I do like the base layer, I'll be honest, but at the same time, I know that they charged a little bit of a premium on uh, the last base layer top that they did or long sleeve top that they recently released. So I don't know about that. And the fleece pullover, I could be tempted, but at the same time, I've got like five things that are like it and it would just be a waste so the only reason i'd get it is probably just to resell it so yeah we'll have to wait and see anyway but that is going to cover it for me i hope that you have a good rest of your day and i will see you all next time peace i just hit my hand <laughs>